Hey everybody, it's Brenton from Rocky Run Angus Ranch. Um, just a quick video here. Uh, I have to apologize about the orientation on that last video. Um, I'm using a new uh, editing program and clearly I don't have it figured out yet. Um, so I'm just throwing up this short video um, just to see if I got it right yet. Um, this, the video to follow here is uh, from about a month and a half ago, early to mid-November, we were bringing my uncle's cows home. Um, and uh, the very last clip is of a silage trailer dumping. Um, my brother actually shot that clip for me quick. I had to head home. So um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I really, really hope that I got this figured out. So uh, if anybody has any input, please let me know. So I'm trying to figure it out, but... Uh, Thanks again, everybody. Um, please hit the thumbs up. Um, shoot me any comments with any advice. And uh, catch you all later. Hey, everybody. Brett from Rocky Run Angus Ranch. Um, I'm going to try and get as much video as I can today. We're bringing some of my uncle's cattle home. Um, and we're, as you can see, he's up in front of me. He's pulling a flatbed with a bunch of freestanding panels. Um, I think we're going to have to do a makeshift corral because uh, in this one pasture because the corral that he has set up um, there's a the water is kind of blocking it off from them so they're kind of on an island almost in the pasture it's a pretty big island so it's not like they're in any sort of trouble but um, we normally rent a wheel corral from um, one of the local feed and supply stores uh, but it's already rented out, so we can't get that, so we're going to have to make do. Um, this is another one of his pastures. We just built this fence along here last fall. I helped a little bit, otherwise it was my two uncles that did the most. But um, this is where all of our heifers are at that are being bred this year. I have six of my own in there. Um, so, Anyways, I'm pulling his Featherlight stock trailer. Um, my brother is actually, I don't know if you can see in the mirror, in the pickup behind me, in my uh, late grandpa's pickup, pulling, pulling the other stock trailer. So we're, we're going to try and get his cattle loaded up and moved home. Hopefully it works out alright. So uh, come along for the ride. It should be a very interesting day. Hope you enjoy. Just like that, we got two loads loaded. Corral put up, cows in, two loads loaded, ready to go. Alrighty, these are the cows, calves we got home so far today. Good bunch of them, but this is my uncle's place. We just put this barn up uh, three years ago, four years ago. It used to be an old wooden hip roof barn out here that finally fit the big one. Um, we got a working system in there. We got some alleys and. Good stuff like that. Um, we were just in the process of loading our last load of cows and calves, and my grandma called and said the corn choppers are on their way. Now, you see this pile of corn silage. Um, kind of a quick story. The guy that has been chopping for my uncle for the last few years, about a month ago, got in a car accident and got killed. Um, and he's not, my uncle's not the only one he chopped for around here. There was about eight, ten different clients this guy had around here. Um, and that really put a lot of people around here in a, a bind. Uh, so my uncle pulled his old two-row John Deere out. Um, got it all put back together and got it working and started chopping on his own. Because, well, we froze out. Uh, the corn froze in that snowstorm we had, was it three weeks ago now? Um... So it's starting to dry out in a hurry, and uh, we just uh, got word that there's a corn chopper in the area earlier today. So we called him as he was just getting done where he was at, and he said, "Yep, I'll be on my way." Loading up our last load of cows and calves, and we got a call saying he's on his way. Um, we had some other things we were going to do, but it was in order to get this corn off and get his feed in for the year, which he was really looking at probably not even getting half of his corn silage because of the uh as muddy as it's been and uh 
it's drying up in a hurry. Um, it's supposed to get extremely cold next week, um, and it probably just wasn't going to happen. Um, he chops about 80, 90 acres of corn each year for silage. Um, he has uh, maybe 20 of it, 25 of it off. Um, this corn silage pit that you just seen should be about three times the size, four times the size that it is now. Um, but anyways, this is his place. This is kind of a quick look. It's one of our alleys. That's where we take the cows into the barn. You got a tub, a chute, actually two chutes, alleys and stuff in there. Um, this is the Rocky Run Creek down here also. This is where it comes from up here. It comes through the coulee and runs down and comes to my place from up here. So anyways, I'll try to get uh, some video of the tractors and wagons and stuff moving in and out. And maybe I can get out and take a video of the chopper going too. The guy has a big John Deere chopper. Um, he just came by with it a few minutes ago. Uh, my uncle and my brother are just on the way back. They're just down showing them the field and where to go and whatnot because it is a sloppy mess out here yet. Um, it's been cold. We froze. It's probably about the only saving grace right now, but it was fairly nice yesterday, and it's been 40, 42 today with sun, and everything on top is getting greasy again. So we'll see how it goes. Um, wish us luck, and there should be some videos coming.